Let's play Mega Man The Wily Wars. Legend Fan has challenged me once again to a Mega Man video game race, and this is The Wily Wars. It was only released in, uh, Europe. Um... Under the name Wily Wars, but only on them. But only on, uh... Uh, what it was called, from the Sega Genesis, it was called the Mega Drive. It's Mega Man 1, 2, and 3 all on the same cart, and for today I'll be playing Mega Man all the way through, if I could figure out how to work these controls. Um, the music's pretty close to what it was on the SNES, but it's a little downgraded. So, since I've gone through this game once before, there's not really much to explain. Uh, there are some differences, though. For one thing, you can already tell this game is 16-bit. Okay, I jump... Okay. I jump with the L button for some reason. I shoot with the... Three button. Okay, it's pretty basic. So you can see it's 16 bit as opposed to 8 bit as Mega Man originally was. Most of the characters have been redesigned to work with uh, 16 bit graphics. And the stages have been redesigned. Bombman looks like. Okay, it, it's better detailed. I'm not sure what it's supposed to be. Um, some enemies in this game take more hits as they did on their NES counterparts, but that's okay. Um, uh, Mega Man's base of balance is a little different, basically meaning you can still stand on a platform with one foot off, but, uh, your error for mar your margin of error is not as good as it was, and you can see the enemies are shooting a lot slower. But that's as a rule with Genesis to, well, uh, NES to Genesis. Even though with the blast processing this game is supposed to have, considering it was made to play Sonic the Hedgehog. Die, Joe! Um. So, since enemies take more shots to kill, and it runs slower, your timing might be a little off. I'm gonna change controls after this first video so I can actually jump and shoot properly. Um, different things for Mega Man 1 is, if you fall on spikes, you are invincible for a bit of time. If you get hurt, like knocked into them. In all the other Mega Man games, if you're hit and knocked into spikes, you were invincible. Until you stop flashing in this game, you're invincible. If you hit spikes. Like if you fall, if you get knocked off into them. So yeah, I'm invincible. In the original Mega Man 1, you would have died if you hit those spikes. Um, um, there's no pause select feature, which I didn't show you because I had the GameCube version. The easy way to get this life is just keep on shooting here. I'm not sure if I showed you that in the other one. Just keep on shooting. Joe will jump into your line of fire. I feel like that helps. The life. Um, and another thing is power-ups can only be select, uh, collected once. Originally, if you went off the screen and came back, power-ups could be selected as many times as you wanted. Yeah. Um, which actually is a problem in uh, Wily's Castle, because there's one place that if you're out of power-ups, you have to lose. Jump, damn it. 
So we're fighting Bomb Man. And like he was on the NES. He moves a lot slower and he'll throw bombs. Regardless of how close you are to them, but the bombs are easier to control if you can jump properly. Plus, uh, enemy invincibility is longer. And I'm gonna lose to Bomb Man? Can't lose to Bomb Man. Okay, I beat Bomb Man. And I get the weapon. And the music plays a little slower. There's still a score in this game, which means nothing. It doesn't give you anything bonus to beat the game or whatever. Yeah, one thing the original NES didn't have was a save feature. So after Bomb Man, we go after Guts Man. So this is a Magic Man challenge. Magic Man challenged me to beat this game before him and not aware of Labor Day weekend because I have like eight hours every day this weekend to work for so. This is a lot harder because you have less of a margin for error. Although I still did it with uh, no problem. This is uh, kind of boring because I already did it before and I filmed it, although it was the GameCube version and that was Mega Man 1 remake. Well, it was Mega Man 1. It was exactly the same game, just on a GameCube cart. And I played it on the Wii anyway. I think I played it on the Wii. Bypass the iRobot. Enter Evil Metool and another Evil Metool that actually shoot faster than you think. And then YouTube now allows 15 minutes, so I can probably defeat Gutsman in the time I have left. I just run to the end of these rocks and throw a bomb. To jump right before he lands, he won't mess up your footing. But not that you need to do that too much. Because he'll go down pretty quickly. You get your bonus points. Save our old file, and then we go off against God's man's nemesis, which will be cut man in the next part. See you then.